So just a very, very quick uh, video before I record the main one later on. As you can see, this is the new kit that I've created. That was the kit that you saw in the last video. This is the new stuff right here. That's the little switch that took me so long to replace all the gun bins of when it all died. And now we've got a... Um, uh, a lock here so that little bar there would zip backwards and forwards and that would be on the uh, the door jam and that would be on the door itself um, now if we use a real genuine card like this one here so this one's been programmed in you can notice it unlocks it that little thing down there zips apart and when it wants to reset it will reset there we are and now with the prox mark so with a little a chameleon tiny what you can actually do is if we uh, turn it on with the a button if you notice number six is illuminated and number six doesn't work. So number six does not work. But with number six illuminated, if we then press and hold the B button near the card, oops, I think, let's turn it on, press and hold the B button, you see it flashed. Now what I've done is I've configured the B button to be clone. Notice now that slot now works. I've now cloned that card in what, under a second? Literally I just went straight past it and boom, there we are, boom, I can now unlock it. Just showing a little, a real really useful feature of these little devices that now you've got something which is able to clone RFID cards with no knowledge other than being able to press and hold one of the buttons on the bottom.